Just as predicted, we have a tsunami alert after a major 7.5 magnitude Richter earthquake off Papua New Guinea. Uh, this is, uh, has also given a rise to a tsunami. Powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Papua New Guinea's New Britain Island today, Tuesday, and it prompts fears of hazardous tsunami waves for coasts within 1,000 kilometers of the quake's epicenter. Offshore quake struck 45 kilometers northwest of New Britain capital Kokopo at 12.58 UTC, and it was a pretty shallow 10th kilometer depth. The U.S. National Weather Service Pacific Tsunami Warning Center warned that hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coastal regions located within 1,000 kilometers of the quake's epicenter, limiting potential waves to the PNG and, that's Papua New Guinea, and Solomon Island regions. Um, Chris Murphy, TWN, tweeted, Tsunami warning issued in the wake of magnitude 7.5 earthquake near Papua New Guinea. This is one of the world's most active subduction zones as the Australian plate converges with and moves beneath the Pacific plate. Shallower earthquake 10 kilometer deep increases tsunami risk. This is on the ring of fire, as we know. We've had tremendous quake swarms there before, and uh, I would venture to say even aftershocks because this is so big. This is the second earthquake to hit Papua New Guinea in over a week. On May 6, we had a 7.2 magnitude quake, and uh, it uh, shocked. This shock was felt 250 kilometers away from its epicenter in Port Moresby. The following earthquakes, this earth followed earthquakes in the region February March that were measured at magnitude 6.4 and 6.1 respectively. Now the one on May 6 was a magnitude 7.2, but it was deep. Uh, that's why our dear friend Terrell Blackstar that does his uh, predictions of, he was calling on the uptick that we would have a major earthquake of uh, 7.5 at Papua New Guinea. He thought the one on May 6, he said between May 5th and May 15th, and he was exactly right. Tomorrow is May 15th. Uh, he, he thought the 7.2 magnitude that struck deep would, was the uh, 7.5, but uh, I guess he was wrong. This is the, that was a, that was a foreshock. Now, located in the hotspot of seismic and volcanic activity in the Pacific Ring of Fire is Papua New Guinea experiences regular earthquakes due to the friction of the tectonic plates deep beneath the surface. Since 1990, the PNG region has experienced 14 earthquakes with a magnitude of 7.5 or higher, according to U.S. Geological Survey. Okay, so here we are at Sidemo Berkeley, and this is today's quake of 7.5 at uh, May 14th, uh, UTC 1252-58. And also we have May 14th, two hours after that, an aftershock of 5. And uh, also, let's go back to the details of that. The, uh, okay, the regional information is right here. Kokopo, 7.5, 45 kilo, uh, kilometers east and northeast of uh, Kokopo. And look, all these dots, of course, are the earthquakes around there. It's just amazing. To the tectonic summary, plate boundary is over 4,000 kilometers long on the northern margin of the Sunda Java Trench in the west to the Solomon Islands in the east. The eastern section is over 2,300 kilometers long, extending west from northeast of the Australian, that's Australia here, of course. And uh, this the whole area here off Australia is uh, where we have all these seismic uh, activities taking place. Along the South Solomon Trench, Australia plate covers, converges with the Pacific plate, here is Pacific, at a rate of, of a huge 95 millimeters per year towards the east Northeast, it's going this way. Uh, east, 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 northeast. Seismicity along the trench is dominantly related to subduction tectonics, and large earthquakes are common. There have been 13 magnitude 7.5 earthquakes recorded since 1900. 
on April 1, 2007, an 8.1 interplate megathrust earthquake occurred at the western end of the trench, generating a tsunami. This was the third 8.1 megathrust event associated with the subduction zone of the past century. The other two occurred in 1939-1977. I hope we don't have anything more uh, larger than this 7.5 striking. Now, further east in New Britain Trench, relative motions of several microplates surrounding Australia Pacific boundary include north south oriented seafloor, the spreading in the Woodlock Basin south of Solomon Islands. The western end of the Pacific, uh, Australia Pacific plate boundary, perhaps the most complex portion of this boundary, extending 2,000 kilometers from Indonesia, Banda Sea to east, eastern New Guinea. Um, the large earthquakes in eastern Indonesia occur frequently, but interplate megathrust events related to subduction are rare. This is likely due to the disconnection and descending oceanic slab from the continental margin. There have been nine 7.5 earthquakes recorded from the Kai Island to Sumba since 1900. The largest was the Great Banda Sea Earthquake, 1938 of 8.5 magnitude and intermediate depth thrust faulting event that did not cause significant loss of life. Um, let's also remember that they are uh, warning the people in New Zealand that they're waiting for a huge earthquake there as well, huge, like huge, we're talking about nine, nine magnitude Richter. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.